Hi, this is Robin from Western Mass. It is February 28th, and we're going into our question and answer section. So uh, please text questions to Chris or, or myself, or uh, possibly Chris will start unmuting lines so people can ask their questions. Anybody? <clears throat> Okay. I would like to speak. And who is My this? Name is Mary from from Pennsylvania. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. And hi. I found out about you all about a month ago, and I have purchased um, the uh, the soap, the, the, the debriding soap that I've been really working with, hoping that it would help me leave me some because I'm totally encased in these things from head to toe, sole of my feet, right. palm of my hand. And it's so painful that I am more or less bedridden. I get right. up uh, about four times a day, and if, if I don't get in the water, they build up and it's really debilitating. 74 years old, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm looking at your whole. No, I'm not doing the diet because I got to figure out a way to do it. Well, nothing works no. without the diet. I hate to tell you, but you know, if you can't do the diet, you're not gonna. It's just gonna be hard. You're not gonna. Uh, the bathing helps. The the nature's gift to brighting soap helps, but you won't get relief until you get on the diet. And that's because you are that's because when we're not on the diet we are a walking, talking, breathing breathing machine. They breed constantly in your body. Right. And they keep the destroying they keep them. destroying more and more skin. And uh, the best thing that the, the, the brighting soap can do is maybe make a dent. That's the best it's gonna do until you have that diet kick in the diet don't try the diet do the diet make the diet work for you and don't give up until you do okay. so, so the first time when I started the diet it took months to kick in partly because of my environment and partly because I was making mm -hmm. tiny what I thought were tiny mistakes but it only takes a tiny mistake to make the diet not work. This time around when I got reinfested, the diet kicked in instantly because I, I, I know how to do it right now. And it was like night and day. I mean, within three days, I didn't have bites. I didn't have lesions. I wasn't itching. I was sleeping through the night. You know, so the diet is really key. The diet is really key. Yeah. In fact, uh, when I do an evaluation, and, and there's a paragraph in the evaluation where I make the recommendations, I don't even want you buying any products until you have the diet kick in because I don't want people spending money and wasting money. You know, I'm, I'm here to work for you. I'm here to help you get your life back, not sell products, although fine. I, I, I love uh, the fact that we have the best products in the world in all one place. And... I got my life back without any of these products. I mean, that was back in the 90s. I didn't have uh, this store until 2013. And, and the, the reality was, hey, it would be nice to have all everything that people want at one place rather than having to go 10 different websites and put in 10 different usernames and passwords. And, and it would be nice to have things at one place, which is my goal. Yeah. So diet, diet, uh -huh. diet. Could I have Robin's number again? We'll give that at the end of the, uh, 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 after the recording is stopped. This is going to be on YouTube, and we don't want people at random uh, calling uh, Robin okay. uh, who haven't read the book. And uh, Robin coaches for free, Ethel coaches for free, and we ask you that before you uh, solicit their services that you have read the book and that you're 
started the diet and not use them as educators to spoon feed you the material in the book and, and spoon feed you the diet, but to have them work with you to make it all work. So uh, we'll give you her number because coaching is a lot of work, you know, and, and coaches can get worn out fast because uh, we're, everybody is suffering. There's such, there's, there's drama. There's drama. There's pain. And, and we, we want to get you well and help you get your life back quickly. So it's a lot of work. And we would love to have others who have gotten their lives back and uh, are, are in a position to uh, uh, give back and uh, contribute as being a coach as well. Yes. Okay. So thank you. Uh, Robert, and, I need to get with you because I had ordered something and, and it didn't come. Yes. Well, you would talk to Chris. You yeah, would talk to Chris to about do that. With the store. I have yeah. nothing to do with the store. Yeah, you would talk Chris. Yeah, about you that. talk to Chris in the store. Robin and I have never met personally. I've never met Ethel personally. We, we all, they have come and used the products and and used the technique more so the diet and gotten their lives back. Can I ask a, a quick question? Yes. Um, so, oh, and I just want to say that I ordered um, a bunch of products and uh, they, there was just a little bit of a delay on them. So I just wanted to let her know that there was a little bit of a delay, but they did. I did receive them all. Um, it wouldn't uh, be me. I don't have anything to do with the store. Oh, have to no, talk to oh, Chris. I you, I, oh, oh, and I it's a he. Know. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know you know, Robin. <clears throat> well, the, the the postal system has been under kind of an attack uh, ever since the joy has uh, taken over the postal system, and that's another whole. Si so the the postal system isn't as efficient as it used to be, and hopefully that's going to be changed over the next couple of months. But right now, it that it's uh, least e efficient efficiency okay. in years. Okay. My my just my quick question is. If someone has, um, and I'm, I'm on the diet, by the way, I'm on your diet. Um, yes. If someone, so if someone has Morgellons and chronic Lyme disease, um, do they eventually, do they get Columbia or Springtails? Can I, I notice that I don't have that issue, but is that something that can, you know, that I don't, that I, that all of us get, or is that's a that's a very good question. And uh, first of all, let me uh, again give the FDA disclosures uh, so that I don't get accused of practicing medicine. The FDA FDA requires me to inform everybody on the call that uh, none of us, Robin, me, Ethel, uh, Chris, uh, Barbara, Sandra, none of us are medical doctors, and that before you accept any of our recommendations. That, or even start the diet, that you are to discuss them thoroughly with your medical doctor to make sure they don't interfere with any health problems you're presently experiencing. The AMA also requires us to tell you that, that we're not here to diagnose, cure, treat, or mitigate any disease. We're here to do one thing, educate you. Educate you how to get them out of your body. Educate you on how to... Uh, clean them out of your skin, educate you in how to clean them out of your environment, and educate you in the, the correct supplements to use to build uh, your immune process, your immune systems, and your health. That's what we are allowed to do. Now, when it comes to Morgellons and Lyme disease, the Morgellons Foundation sponsors research uh, Dr. Strickler, Dr. Uh, Medeva uh, Han, I don't know if she's a doctor, a vet, I think she's a veterinarian doctor. Uh, they do research and they find, find that 90% of the people with Morgellons have one of two classifications of spirochetes. That's Lyme disease. So <clears throat> it doesn't mean because you have Morgellons that you have Lyme disease. Most likely you do. 90% uh, do. Uh, again, we have fungal issues. Now, there are people who say that Morgellons is fungal. I say poo-poo. <laughs> yes, 90% of 
probably have fungal issues, do have fungal issues, but not everybody. It is not a fungus. Uh, there, nobody has actually identified the organism uh, of Morgellons as to exactly what it actually is. People say it's a parasite. Well, no, it's not a parasite. But 90% of the people who have it probably have par do have parasites. It can parasitize organisms. Now, do you have columbola? Well, you might. Uh, I evaluate questionnaires frequently. I probably have evaluated, oh, 2,000 questionnaires over the years. Five, four, four or five years ago, I could see that maybe there was a 50-50 split. 50% 50 of the people have more gallons and maybe 50% were dealing with columbola. Today, it's more like 90% have both, have both. So it's highly likely that people with more gallons have Lyme disease and have columbola and also may have fungal issues. And in the early part, the first part of the program uh, where we had uh, Dr. Err uh, share about grounding. It, it, but bottom line is that uh, we deal with all of it. And personally, my personal experience, okay, Columbola, Strongyloides sericalis, Candida, chronic Lyme disease. Uh, what did I miss? Skin fungus. What, a, what about myiasis? About what? Myiasis. A fungal issue, right? Yeah, I had it. I had okay, it. so it really doesn't matter because we deal with it all. And, and uh, the protocol that uh, you get, had, we, we deal with everything. First of all, if we go back a couple of... Uh, Recordings a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the basic package we have for Morgellons. The, uh, so the basic package we have for Morgellons, we, we start out with the package for columbola and Lyme. We have, a multi we have a multiple vitamin specifically designed for Lyme disease that we use for Morgellons. And if you go to the uh, people who work with Morgellons disease, Dr. Saverly and people like that, they won't treat you for Morgellons. They treat you for Lyme disease, okay, through antibiotics. So we have uh, multiple vitamin. We use ionic minerals that uh, in the earlier portion of this video, we talked about the Rallau effect and it uh, the, these minerals not only are completely bioavailable, but they help break up the clumping of the red blood cells. We have a psyllin. It's called garcillin, which is a natural antibiotic, natural antiviral. If you go to Wikipedia and research it, that's what antifungal, antiparasitic, antiprotozoan, that's what you'll find in Wikipedia. And we use... Uh, Max one glutathione to boost glutathione. Now, if you read my report, which chronicles my experience with Lyme disease, which almost killed me 13 years ago to the point where I could barely walk, 24-7 pain, couldn't write my name, and I'm 99.9% .9 better today. I don't think everybody gets 100% ever from Lyme disease, but... I'll take 99.5%. And if you look at all the other people who have been through the program, they no longer complain about Lyme disease. Okay? So that's the basic package, the nutritional package for Lyme disease. And many people, after they do those four things, don't need treatment. Now, again, we're not here to treat. We're here to build immune functioning, which we can do. And if you do need treatment, the report goes into the different antibiotics and how to use them. It goes into uh, lime, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, vitamin C and salt treatment. It goes into rifing. So it goes into the different treatments that are available that uh, an LMD can rotate you through. 
It even gets into the fact because when you're using these things, you detox. Uh, there's a lot of die-off, and it goes into how you can detox, uh, minimize detox, because oftentimes when you detox from Lyme disease, the doctor stops the treatment. The worst thing he can do is stop the treatment. Well, he's got to stop the treatment, otherwise you might die. But if you knew what to do to minimize, like using zeolite or using uh, uh, boosting your amino acids and uh, digestive enzymes, then you don't have to stop the treatments. And you can, so the nutritional package will make it better if you go any treatment for Lyme disease. Now, when we get into margallans, we go a little bit further because it, de it depletes our body of iron and organic sulfur. So we have organic sulfur capsules, which is uh, MSM. We, it affects the gut oftentimes, the gut biome. So we have minerals specifically for restoring the gut. Uh, it contributes to leaky gut syndrome where the mucosa get lazy and separated and, and allow toxins to move from the intestines into the bloodstream and that's terrible. So we want to strengthen the, the gut biome, uh, the, the mucosa. So we use uh, L-glutamine there. And then the Morgellons fibers, filaments, uh, fiberon circulates through your body. We want to get rid of that. So we have specific enzymes, Theracore enzymes that move through your body. You take them uh, not with food, but between food, and they go in every organ and every part of your body and assimilate that stuff. So it's a very targeted package to build health and nutrition. To, and then if we're dealing with fungal issues, we have the kinase enzymes. The kinase enzymes go after the chitin, the fungal issues, the building blocks. We have the uh, calcium baclex, which you take with food that uh, inhibit the production of hyphae. The hyphae is, is the root of the fungal organism that, that extracts the food from whatever it's infecting. And so the chitinase enzymes also break up biofilm. So if you look at our package and what we recommend, we, we don't really leave any stone unturned. And many people have digestive issues uh, because the gut is infected. So the digestive issues, we have uh, two enzymes. We have agro-relief enzymes or, and to, to, to enhance the gut. We, we suggest promoting prebiotics. Foods, instead of focusing on probiotics, we suggest prebiotics. And there are blog posts about uh, prebiotics that you can look up in our blog. So that's it in a nutshell. Any other questions? I got a Thank weird you. one. Yes. Um, does anyone else get like bubbles when they come off from their skin when they lay down in the water in the bathtub? Like bubbles literally come up off of me. <clears throat> I imagine so. You see, when it comes to more gallons, and I've said this many times, uh, there are no two people with exactly the same symptoms. Now. The one symptom that is the same in everybody, and Dr. Saverly points it out in her book, are filaments. Now, there's no two people with the same filaments. <laughs> they, they, they can be microscopic in size, so uh, you might have to use a 30 power scope to actually see them. They can be blue, they can be green, they can be yellow, they can be red, they can be white, they can be black. They're fluorescent. They can be big and long filaments. They can be moving filaments, okay? Now, that's just the differences in filaments. Now, some people have uh, biofilm. They have black goo. Some people have white goo, but not everybody. Some people have parasites coming out of their skin, waspy-like things, wormy-like things, nematodes. Not everybody. Some people have... Uh, Oh, here's one. <laughs> Knock me off of my plastic coming out of their bodies. Plastic skeletal things that can be a half inch length, sharp they are, barbed to as long as three inches in size. 
Yeah. Some people have lesions. Some people have no lesions. <laughs> Some people have itching and biting. There are people with no itching and biting. So I imagine there are people with bubbles. Okay, well, well, I can take white stuff out of my ear and throw it in the sink with it plugged, and you can see it move around. Yep. So it's an infinite variety of symptoms, but the the okay. only thing the only thing is the filaments and fibers that characterize it. Beyond that, it's an infinite variety. Okay, thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Anyone else like to share or ask a question? <clears throat> this is Jill. Hi, Jill. Uh, when you said, hi. When you said um, filaments and fibers, is that um, the lint? The lint you talk about it looks like lint. What? Is that the fiber? Somebody's got a kitchen going on there, dropping uh, utensils. Uh, again, Jill, what is the question? Um, the you were you were just mentioning talking about lint and fibers, not lint. Right. You said fibers and something else. Um, I don't filaments and fibers? Yeah, filaments. I don't have filaments. I have like stuff that looks like lint. Lint, yes, that's filaments. That's fiber. Uh, Dr. Saverly classifies fibers different than filaments because when you go to the doctor and you, and you show them to the doctor, the doctor says, they're just fibers, from, like from clothing, and she differentiates. These, these fibers do not come from clothing. They come from your skin. They're comprised of keratin and collagen. They can be microscopic, in which case you can't see them. So a question I have on the questionnaire is, do you find cotton-like or lint-like substance in your bedding and clothing that is not supposed to be there? And people say yes. Well, that indicates to me you've got tiny fibers. In fact, some people have little black specks, little black dots, and when they put them under the microscope, they actually see That's it's fibrous. Really? Fibers? Yes. Oh, yeah. So the little black specks could be mites. It could be mites, uh, or it could be uh, fibrous. Those you have to look at it under a microscope to know. Those black mites, they start out as fibers. And it, I, it must. Okay. No. They, you can wipe off the counter, and you don't even see them until you wipe off the can counter. Can you take me back up there because I have a together. cold case down here? Please, we have, some, we, please we have somebody talking. We have somebody talking. Yeah, Hello? Certainly is. The rice pudding. I don't know. Somehow we got. Talking about rice pudding, could you mute, mute yourself by hitting star six? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so everybody mute themselves, star six, and when you want to talk, do star six. But until you want to talk, uh, keep yourself muted, please. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say fibers don't turn into mites. They, no, they don't. They're two separate things. They both look like black specks, but when you look at them you under could, a magnifying glass. It, this is crazy what I'm dealing with. You'd have to see it, what happened. It's, it's very odd. Well, uh, not, not to diminish what you're experiencing, but what all of us go through is crazy and is different. And uh, uh, we had Dr. We had Dr. John Err on earlier, and he's offered uh, to examine samples. I'm going to get the, an address for him, and you can collect your samples, and you can send them to him. Uh, I okay. never, ever suggest taking samples to a doctor because the first thing they're going to do is look at you and classify you as a nutcase and uh, diagnose you as delusional. So never, ever take samples to a doctor. But here we have a doctor. Uh, He's not in practice right now, but uh, he will. He's offered to examine them under his uh, powerful microscope, and perhaps we'll learn something and classify these things. Um, I have a question about uh, the doctor. Now, I, like I said, I missed the early part of the call. And what was it? The inflammation he was addressing that earthing would help with the parasite situation. Or earthing helps with earthing helps with everything, not just parasites. It's healthy for everything. It's good to keep you healthy and uh, maybe less susceptible to uh, different diseases. 
Uh, it's not a cure. It's something like eating uh, good good protein. You know, eating good protein. Lowers inflammation and helps build up your immune system. Right. And it, it also helps depression and anxiety, and we all have that. It, right. helps, you, it helps you recharge yeah, your yeah. body. It helps you recharge, right. which is good. It's, like, it's, it's really like we're batteries. We're, we're batteries, and we run down, and, and we need to uh, – the food that we eat helps regenerate, but the electrons do a, do a great job, too. You need both. You need the electrons and the food that we eat. Right. Did he did he um, actually tell you wh- what to do, like how to buy the wire and what to do with it? Well, what you can do is uh, you can go on eBay and you can buy EMF cloth or metal cloth. It's a cloth made. It's a fabric made of metal, uh-huh. and you sleep on it, and you. We have. Please, please, star six. We'll have a lot of background noise here. Star six. Wow. Can you isolate that, Chris? I just did. I just did, Richard. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So you could get a metal grounding cloth. Metal cloth. You can use that cloth. You can cut it up and put it on your Wi-Fi uh, thing, uh, and uh, and minimize the uh, EMF from it. Or, and you can sleep on it. You can take a uh, an alligator clip and hook it to that metal cloth to a wire. You can run the wire outside and ground it. You can get uh, uh, somehow. I, I have to look into this and research it. You can get a plug to plug into your electrical outlet. You know, so if, every, you go, if you go to earthing.com, they sell these kits that come with the grounding thing to plug in to your outlet and to test the outlet to see if it's grounded. The problem is, is that the products they sell can't be washed or you, you can't use a disinfectant on them either. But they do sell the grounding outlet plugs and testers. Is there so. somewhere they sell things that can be washed? Yeah, what well, Richard is talking about, the, the cloth. eBay. You buy the cloth yeah. on eBay. EMF uh, EMF cloth. I search for that or something like that. Comes in a sheet about Comes in a sheet about thirty six inches by forty or something like that. And you also sleep on it. You sleep on it. You need to have your skin contact it. You can't put a sheet on it because that would insulate you. Now, does that have to be um, grounded? Does that have to be grounded with a wire? Yes, that's what we just told you. You go to earthing.com, and they have a kit there that you can buy to plug into your electrical outlet, that run, will, and you run the wire, and you alligator clip it to this cloth that we I just discussed. Okay. I mean, right. they do sell things like, so that you can sit on in chairs or that you can put under your feet. It's just that, you know, you can't disinfect them. You can probably buy a grounding blanket there for about $300, or you can get this cloth for about $40 on eBay. No, they I'll have some the stuff for like 70 bucks. I, I looked at all their stuff. They have a, a, a blanket for uh, a, they have a sheet? Not a full bla- they, have, they have a small thing for like, Sixty-nine dollars that you could sit in a chair, that you could put under a keyboard, that you could put on your feet. But we're talking so, about we're talking about bed mattress or bed uh, sheet, the bed thing. Right, but if you use it during the day, it, it's going to work the same as as if it was a bed thing. So go to earthing.com, look over what they have, and then you can also uh, look at getting your own sheet of fabric and and hooking up it your way. Okay. Right. Yep. Any Thank other you questions? Are. You're welcome. Any other questions? I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, what is? Where do you go on YouTube to find the video that um, you did today? Well, it won't be up for about a week on YouTube, but uh, do you get the emails from me? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, I do. So 
uh, later on tonight, uh, you're going to get an email, and it will have the, uh, the video that you can click on and watch what we just did. Uh, but it won't be up on, this one won't be up on YouTube for about a week. Okay, are there other things you can watch on YouTube? Do you go to your name to watch them? Did you get an email that announced this program today? Um, I did, but I have not not been paying attention because I've been trying to pretend I don't have more gallons. But I know I do have it. I talked to you. I was the first one to call today. But I yes, well... Uh, on the email that you got it on the email that you got about this program, scroll down to under where the the doodles are, the doodle contest, there are doodles there. Go under that and then it has our YouTube channel. And uh, okay. you can click on that channel and you'll see all the videos. Or you can actually scroll down further and you'll see uh, links to each of the videos and the uh, table of contents. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very this was so informative. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, we're here, and we want you to, to uh, write us and tell us that because we were here, you got your life back because we didn't give up on you. That's mm -hmm. right. Thank you so much. Keep coming back. You're welcome.